Hey YouTube, so this is going to be one of those simple easy hairstyles that you could probably wear for a couple days um, if you want to. Um, I wore my hair like this today, but I think I'm getting ready to change it up and um, uh, add some bangs to it. But uh, I'm going to section off, section in the back, you know, like how your mama used to do. Okay. I'm just going to throw a band around it for the moment. I'm actually going to section off some bangs real quick. I'm just going to do some, like, you know, take what I have and just do it in a triangle. That'll work. That's good enough. Section that off real quick. Now the rest of my hair, I got my bottle here with my water and um, glycerin and Shea Moisture Curling Style Milk in there. And I just use it if I'm wetting my hair now. And I love it and right now it keeps my hair nice and soft so just miss my hair some you know not soaking wet and keep it on hand if you need it now my hair is pretty much parted but make sure my part is still straight so just a down the middle kind of part Okay. Grab that, put it to the side. This is very simple. My hair is already pretty much detangled, but it's gonna comb it, you know, the ends this way. Make sure my hair is already pointed in the direction that I want it to sit. I'm gonna wet this part just a little bit more. All right, you can uh, brush it. You could probably gel it if you want to. Um, lately, I've been trying to stay away from gel as much as possible. Let me get my other brush. But you know, if you want to, you can gel it. Brush the sides a little bit. And what I'm going to do is French braid it back or core row it. And if you can't French braid, then you can do a two strand flat twist instead. Okay, y'all. So um, the recorded part of my video did something weird and it like paused and had like a weird, creepy voice on it. It was like my voice was in slow motion and stuff. So I took this part down so that I can uh, redo the part where I show y'all how to actually do the corn roll going back. So I'm just going to take this little piece and re-wet re -wet it and braid it to show how I do my corn rolls. Show you an easy way that anybody can do corn rolls. Okay. So let's see if I can get in. All right, so um, you just take a like a little triangle in the front. I guess that's the easy way to do it. So get you a little section in the front. Take it into three sections. Three. Uh, you want to try and make them as equal as possible. Okay. So three sections. And the easiest way to do it is take. I'm right-handed, so I'm going to start with the right. So I'm going to take this right section, stick my pointer finger under the middle section and grab the left section. Pull the middle section to the left. Take this left finger under the new middle section, grab the right. Okay. Now I'm put the middle section to the right. So now take the new middle, the new right section, right finger, 
under the middle, grab the left. Left finger under the middle section, grab the right. And you just pick it up a little bit of hair as you go. So that is the easy way, at least to me, that seems like an easy way to learn how to cornrow if you don't already know how. So whichever way you're braiding, you just take that pointer finger, keep this in your hand, take the pointer finger, put it under the middle, grab the other side until you're done and until you have a corn roll or French braid it all the way back. Okay, and you can braid it all the way to the end or you can get almost to the end and twist it from there. So I'm just going to take the two pieces in the back and I'm just going to cross them with each other like that. Tuck one piece in and Bobby put it down. Tuck the other piece in and bobby pin it down. Hey YouTube, so it's morning and um my hair is all um set braided. Um what I can do now is uh, take out the back and the front. So I'm just going to take the uh, twist down. You know, and that just gives me like, you know, a little bang in the back with, uh, with some texture. I didn't put a whole lot of the elastic QP on there like I would if I wanted it like super, super defined, but it's still... Um, they still defined up, you know, they still defined them. Okay. My bangs, I mean, I could leave them, um, which I actually might, because I think my husband said it's snowing out. But I could leave them up like that, or I can take them down. My bangs came out nice and full. I didn't twist them wet. They, you know, they were. It was dry when I twisted them, and um, I just put like a little bit of uh, elastic QP on there. So if I wanted them to one side or another, I could probably pin, but they're fine the way they are. So this is what it came out like. Here's the other side. And you can always accessorize and stuff. When I was little, we didn't usually put a bobby pin in there, but we put like a hair comb. I used to have those uh, back in the day, like when I still had my jerry curl, we used to have those like hair combs. They were like this, but they were miniature. They were like that big. And I used to have like tons of them in various colors. And yeah, even when I had my jerry curl, sometimes my mom would do my hair like this and leave the bang in the front. And then she would put the combs right here and here, you know. And usually they would match my outfit or whatever. So, yeah, this was a hairstyle that I wore when I was a kid. But it doesn't look kitty. I guess, to me, it doesn't, you know, look too too kitty uh, to wear right now at my age. So, thanks for watching.